What is up? This is your boy, Anecdotal. Mr. Never Has Any Active Cards, but I do have a whole lot of EX cards that are kind of useless to me. All right, I got the OG Deku card. I got the OG Denki card. I got like so many old OG cards that belong to characters that are not at all even close to the meta. S, my bad. But my alliance mates, man, said, what are you doing holding on to these EX cards? Do you not want to join in this gambling fever that we all have fusing six star cards? So I, I thought about it. I, I went ahead and did all the hero ratings that I could and noticed uh, that I was pretty stuck, man. Sure, there are a couple of characters where I could learn how to play them better, but there were some, some that I was just a few seconds off that I think just having a good active card or snipe some very good passive six star cards would help me win so if i could just beat those and get more stars my account overall will increase exponentially man exponentially i'm talking 36 to 48 stars or maybe 45 who knows right as long as i could one star that one stage here we're at 36 right i can only do it all might man all my Ida, um endeavor those people right there i just they're just so op Literally, the strategy was just using damage. That's all they have to do. But for everyone else, man, I I'm stuck right there at 36 stars. I can't be point explosion. So uh, what did help, One of somebody commented down below like, yo, you got to work on the affinity for certain characters. Now, I got the affinity to everyone to uh, six. That way, I can go ahead and I can get the free honor coins that you get for just doing the achievement of getting uh, one character to affinity six. But now that that's done... What do I do with the rest of it? It's all going to Tokoyami. And then uh, after that, I'm thinking that the rest of it will go to um, probably to Todoroki. But yeah, uh, these are the ones I got. These are the OG Dekus. Now, the thing about that is the one in the left is just a regular high damage. And then the one in the right is what affects actual quirks. And that's known to be the better EX card. So when we all had the World Hero Mission event, we all got the worst for wear card. We got the just regular stat up card. And not the one that has the potential to stack or make your abilities actually stronger. As you can see, I got one for Bakugo too. I'm thinking I'm going to keep the one that I have for Bakugo. But I, I'm not sure, man. It depends what happens. But uh, I got the Todoroki one. The Todoroki one didn't help. So I'm probably thinking I'm going to get rid of Todoroki too. Even though that one I have two of. Uh, I'm not messing with All Might at all. I have his better All Might card. But I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, Kamoi Woods, Endeavor, All Might. Th those are the active cards I really, really want. And if somehow I get the Aizawa card, that would be super sick. But yeah, any of these cards that kind of lock down the opponent so I could actually win. Like kind of gathers everyone up so I could just DPS them down. That would be great. If I also get any of the Eater cards, that would be awesome as well. Obviously, that's not going to help me with a uh, hero rating, but my damage overall will go up. And then number one, the one I really want is actually Cold Shot because I really need that crit rate so I can beat point expansion because what that does is it gets rid of all of your crit. But then if I get crit from this card, it will help me actually do huge amounts of crit damage because that's what the stage is about. It like wipes off all of your crit, but gives you like a huge like 200% crit damage bonus. All you have to do is try to get that crit off. So I'm going to go ahead and unequip all of these EX cards. Uh, the good news is, even though you unequip them and, and get rid of them, they're still part of like your card collection, right? They still count as something you've once had. So the attack bonus, the defense bonus, the HP bonus that you get, uh, 5 attack, 5 defense, 30 HP, I believe. You keep those, you know? It's just that they're no longer used on your character. Man, Deku. You know, I actually had Deku rank like second for the longest time and then third and such just because I thought I had to farm him in the beginning because I didn't know you could switch characters. Crazy. So this Deku man was once one of my strongest PP units, but of course, because of his actual skill set, not so much. Ooh, okay. I also got Kiri. So let me go ahead and take this out of Kiri. Uh, unfortunately, man, he's just not meta. So yeah, man, he's really great for mock battle, man. I've been really enjoying uh, the mock trial, that is. But, yeah, it's not going to be it. Of course, I'm not going to do anything. My Endeavor, I'm just going to keep it. Endeavor is Endeavor. I don't know. I, you tell me if I should do something with Endeavor, but I don't think so. I don't think so, man. So, first, I'm going to get these little fusions out the way. Get the three stars, the four stars out of the way. I usually always wait till I have four. I've tried doing it with three before, but it just, you know, I feel like the probability... It's just one, it's just one more card, so why do it? 
So, uh, imagine we get some nice five star here. Whoa, wait, ho, ho, brilliant debut. I actually got an active card. Oh my god. What? What? All right, so 820%. Man, okay, I could really use that. Yo, okay. 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 Ooh, five attack, five defense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm keeping this card. <laughs> Gigantus. All right, so I'm definitely going to keep this card. Finally. Dude, I got my first active card. Actually, I'm lying. I do have an active card. Um, I forgot his name. The one that just carries a huge, like, ball and chain and then throws it. The, the World Hero Mission active card. Useless, man. Misses, like, almost 97% of the time. Like, oh. So I'm, I'm probably going to get rid of that card as well. I mean, I already got one active card. That, that's an easy replacement right there. But yeah, it's time to put the Dekus in there. You know what? I leveled up all these cards, so I guess I'm going to be able to level up a couple of cards, too, uh, once I get rid of the other ones. But yeah, Deku for sure, and, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to get rid of Well, I have three of them. That's crazy. Wait, there's a thing? Combine two identical support cards to get the card from the other set. Oh, there's a thing? I didn't know that. Look at that. So I could actually do this and, and get, like, another collection for my card. I mean, I, yeah, that's kind of useless. I already have it, right? So, huh. That sounds like something I might want to do. Maybe if I was pay to play, uh, I could do that. So I can finish my card collection. If you get like a dupe like that, that, that could be helpful. All right. I got explosion. I Wait, no, the 12% one. All right. So this is like the not as good card for Bakugo. All right. So I finished up that one. Should I always go to collection and collect it? Or once I, oh, whoa, 10. I got 10 attack for that one. That's what's up. All right, so so the EX cards are probably 10, and then all the other ones are 5. Huh, okay, I don't have enough cards to remember these things. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. As long as it's 2, you get 1, so it's not 4. Dancing with the Wind, character gains uh, hyper armor, attack 40, but that's only when you use the ultimate skill. Uh, so here's the thing, with most characters, uh, their ultimate skill doesn't really matter, unless you're probably like Hawks. Where your ultimate skill has you fly up in the air and then you're like you can't be reached you do super crazy damage so yeah unless you got hawks man or another character that's like you know not in my mind right now i can't think of anyone that has an alt that really matters it just does a lot of damage Ooh, okay so i got the better card right this is the the second the right card for tokoyami so yeah man that i'm not gonna get rid of Plus, he's one of the best characters still for Super Co-op. So I'm definitely going to put that on him. 12%, 0.4% for every 5 points of Shadow. I'm not sure what that means, but... 5 points of Shadow? I really don't know what that means. But hey, uh, really strong character. So maybe that can help me uh, beat Hero Rating, just putting that on him. And then his Shadow form will be that much stronger. Unfortunately, I got to go ahead and get rid of this from Denki. And okay, so I got I got some. So I got at least two here. Hopefully we get something amazing. And Pinky. All right. 410 damage increases their damage taken by 8%. Does that increase the 410 I do? Well, that's pretty cool. Once you attack him, you do more damage to him. So I was looking at what the what damage does and what attack is and what, what's the difference between the two. Apparently, attack is obviously just the damage that you do. But damage specifically, like the stat damage, is like an additional damage that happens. So that means that uh, the additional damage you do will increase. I don't know if I want to get rid of Pinky. I kind of want to need... Uh, I need to see what Pinky looks like in, in combat. And then I'll decide from there. Uh, these dodge ones are kind of useless. So I'm thinking I'm going to get rid of Mr. Compress right here. Yeah, and then this active card right here, uh, Sidero. Sidero is also pretty useless. Like I said, his percentage for actually hitting an opponent is pretty low. The only time it's kind of convenient is if you have someone that's aware in PvP will try to move out of the way, and you'll actually get hit because Sidero, <laughs> Sidero usually misses. So like you could either stay in the wrong place or move into it. That's the only kind of upside to him. It's happened a few times before, but the RNG is so high with him, it's not worth it. So I'm going to also get rid of the... Uh, the flying one, because I don't really ult with most of my characters. And look at that! Look at that, man! Alright, so I got All Might. All Might, man! Number one hero, All Might. Oh, 
All right, this card has been here forever, and I've just never had him. He's been so annoying. I remember wondering why All Might popped up out of nowhere during during matches for uh, when Alliance uh, Wars was a thing, and I was getting destroyed by him. I was like, yo, why, why is All Might appearing? Why is Endeavor appearing? He is one of the top active cards, man. Ooh, all right. So not only that, he actually gathers the opponent with his tornado. So that that's that's a that's like a utility high damaging card right there not only is the attack high but it also concentrates all of the enemies into one place that's definitely going to help me to beat point blank because it's going to get all the enemies uh in one location do high damage it might just destroy the shield and give me a chance of actually winning this right here single-handedly is going to really help my account by a lot now let's also get rid of this card who needs that card when you got all might oh man all right so i'm also going to go ahead and get rid of the bakugo card a little sad but let's go ahead and do it muscular Ooh. okay so this is when you press special so don't do not get confused with special and alt you get a shield and based on that shield your attack goes up so six percent shield of your max hp this is why in your gear hp is so useful because it actually increases the use of this card right here and then uh six percent of that you get eight percent of that six percent uh max hp so like that eight percent attack is actually of the um the max hp and then it kind of goes down to zero so it just really increases your attack so your flat value of attack i think i did the calculations here and it's like 200 and something attack is is put into your um into into your character so it's like a 250 or so attack when i put it on some like really high uh hp characters so all your characters are going to be have pretty similar hp the only difference is going to be on uh not just the cards that you put on so one of them is going to be obviously your level but the other one is going to be your your chip overclocking and of course your gear but gear is going to be distributed pretty much equally upon everybody so it's really going to be on your chips so if you're wondering hey man how do i get my hp high uh the first and last chip is attack and hp and the middle one i think it's defense and hp I'm not sure. All I know is that the one in the middle matters less because there's no attack there. So it's defense and something. Uh, but yeah, so if you overclocked all of your chips and you put muscular in there, you're going to have a pretty big attack increase. So like for, I'm probably going to put this on Endeavor. Yeah, so I already get a plus 200 for the set for like the EX Endeavor set. So since I have both of those on, that's 200, right? But if I just put muscular in there, anytime I click my special, which will give me a shield within itself, uh, I'll have like an even bigger one. So muscular sounds like the way to go for Endeavor because he already has like a really high base HP. He's already like a really beefy person and his, his HP always recovers. Unfortunately, I don't know if, if I click special, yeah, everything will kind of go down as well, wouldn't it? Because he loses HP the more he has his lance out and he always has his lance out. So losing it, yeah, it's a little contradictory, actually. I'm not sure. Maybe I'll just put it on All Might. Because All Might almost never gets hurt. He has super armor. He has no heal, though. So I don't know. You tell me where the best place to put muscular. I'm thinking, I'm thinking Endeavor, but the way with his lance works, and he's always losing HP because of that, and the more HP loss he has, the stronger his lance is. You know, everything's kind of a little back and forth with him. But yeah, that's... That's pretty crazy, man. That is pretty insane. So now I have muscular. Man, that's crazy. I got All Might. I have Pinky, which I've been needing active cards. I don't know how good Pinky is, but it, it sounds good. 410 and then 8% uh, uh, increase the damage. That's nice, man. You know what? I'm actually going to go ahead and take them out and see what they look like. All right, I got Froppy. I already have Froppy at SS Plus, so that's kind of useless. Let's just go, man. If I can get... If I can get another really good card. So I already have 17 here. So might as well. Let's just go ahead and pull. Let's continue this. Let's keep going. Let's get something good. S. Nice. Nice. Uh, Increases stains damage. Oh, this is like the not as good stain. Can I get both in one? No, I can't. All right. Okay. Okay. So uh, I also don't have Hawks yet. So yeah. And then should I pull? I should pull for Hawks. That will help me in hero rating. Just having another character guaranteed to get to 36. So I'm already 30 out of 100. So I don't remember if I had to hit pity last time. But if I don't, there is a chance. There is a chance. Let's go ahead and write the H for Hawks. Yeah, no, I got Denki. Okay. All right. Things to get rid of. Things to get rid of. Uh, some extra shards for me. 
but ooh, already, already, such such huge gains. Now, how good is the is the other is the other card for him, right? Because there are certain cards, like certain EX cards for characters that will completely break them through to the next level, just like Endeavor's Lance card, that really changed them up, man. Really changed them up. So, uh, oh, there's a, like a stack thing for damage. That sounds pretty good. Maybe I'll get rid of it, maybe I won't, not sure. Oh, actually, Himazarian, another card that you got from, from the World Hero Mission thing. Yeah, man, so I, I'm probably gonna maybe get rid of stain and him azarian put them together because that card's useless and, and see what happens but you guys let me know in the comments if that's a good idea if you like this video man make sure to like and share with anybody from the mha community and of course don't forget to make yourself known and comment down below man and good luck with your card fusing for me it really really worked out uh let me know what your results are like if you have some og cards that you know are not on meta characters and are not very useful because for me Dude, my account is going to see like a huge makeover, especially because of what I can do with hero rating now. So yeah, man, stay tuned for that. Huge BP gains coming soon, and I will see you next time. Peace.